Exactly. And <laughs> how you got into the entire process of... Okay. Um, well, I play Chloe. Well, my name is Carrie Maleno and I play Chloe Radke. Um, I was actually contacted from Creature Entertainment um, because my husband is a sound guy, uh, Chris Giles, and he works with them. And I also was pretty good friends with everyone. And John uh, wrote this story and I guess had me in mind, which when I learned about my character um, makes me wonder because she's a... Uh, She's quite emotionless. Um, she's owned basically uh, by Lumasoft, and uh, she was created by Lumasoft. And uh, that basically means that she has no family. She has no one uh, to care about. Um, she's all business. So I guess that's how John looked at me. <laughs> so um, I think I'm a very cheerful person, but not in this character. So I'm actually excited to play something that's very different than me. And. Um, very focused, and she uh, just wants to get the job done. What, any prior experiences as far as acting? Uh, yeah, I've been an actor off and on since I was a kid, really. Um, so through high school, middle school, um, I got involved with professional acting after high school. And um, in the last three years, uh, that's been my profession full time. What do you feel is going to be your most challenging part for this role that you're playing? Probably, I think the challenging part about Chloe's character is that she is someone who is so emotionless, serious, you know, just that there, there's no, with me, I'm, I'm so happy and cheerful, so I mean, really, but trying to find a balance, because I think sometimes if you just play a character for only one side of that character, meaning just, you know, that straight-faced, emotionless type thing, I feel like there has to also be the other side of the character there too, so I have to find that. And that's, you know, that's, that's the challenge for the actor. So finding that, you know, what do you normally draw on to, you know, uh, in order to find those parts of yourself that you want to go ahead and convey on screen? Right, well there's always a duality with every character, so as much as a character may be, you know, like in this case, I have a very pitchy character, um, I gotta also find the other side, well what's driving her to be that way? You know, what what is it that, um, is internally going on with her, and that's so that on the outside you're seeing those characteristics, but on the inside she is just a person like everyone else. So there's there's things going on in there in her mind, you know. Um, she's particularly different than a normal human. I won't give that away, but um, you know it's 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 um it's just that duality. It's just finding a way to encompass two opposite feelings and two opposite.